Hey guys, Kat here with After 40 Art, and today we're going to swatch Faber Castell's Black Edition. Okay, so I've taken them out of the box, and I flipped some of them over, most of them over, um, to make it a little easier to see the numbers, because they do have individual numbers on each pencil. Um... These are the triangle barrels, and that's, uh, this is generally their kids' line, right? Um, I mean, pretty much all of their kids' pencils are triangle, but I think that has more to do with the fact that then they don't, um, you know, roll off the desk and disturb class. Because I also have the red ones here. We can actually compare. What color is that one? We'll just grab, we'll just grab the same color. If I can get it out of the box. Okay, so this is like the normal, um, the normal Faber Castell Red Box series, and I figure these are pretty much the same because Red Box series. This is just the Black Edition. Um, so they're both triangle barrels. The only difference is the color of the wood at the top, and the um. These ones don't have any numbers or names on the pencils at all. This one just has the name and, or not a name, just a number and the company name and nothing else. But that's the difference on those. Um, the black edition are capped, whereas these other ones are not. And yeah, that's basically the physical differences. And they are just a uh, triangle shaped pencils as opposed to most of the professional ones that I have are just a um, round barrel. So like Polychromos and the Derwent, they're all round barrel. And then we have also, if I can get it, I also have a set of Staedtler here. This is also the Staedtler pencils, but these are the kids ones also. And they also have an open thing and I think that's just a number on the pencils. Let me check. I haven't used these yet, but that's because we got them for, uh, you know, they all have 175 on them, on these ones. Um, so yeah, but they come pretty much exactly the same. This is just a hexagon, and that's a triangle. And that's a triangle. So these are the same grade of pencils as opposed to, like, the polychromos or the... Um, which I'm not digging out right now, <laughs> but they're generally round, um, just like the, um, they would be just as round as, like, say, these ones, for instance. These are the, uh, Pit Pastels, but they're just round. But I'm guessing in, like, a school situation, it's probably better that they have these, um, triangle-shaped or hexagonal-shaped, because they don't, they don't roll as easily. But anyway, I just thought that was interesting, that the shape difference um, between some of the pencils. I thought it was kind of cool. Let me just put these ones away so they don't go in my cat's mouth <laughs> or on the floor, because that would suck. And then um, I will probably speed this up with some music and watch some videos, because I wanted to swatch these out on white paper black paper and toned paper because I wanted to see because uh, these are supposed to be really opaque. So I'm kind of hoping that's the case. And then in a separate video, because this is probably going to take a while and I don't want the video to be massively too long, um, I'm going to color uh, the house picture here because I figured there's like four sections is perfect for four colors um, in the Worlds of Wonder by Johanna Basford. And I know it doesn't say Worlds of Wonder, but it does. <laughs> okay. But first, let's start with this, and uh, I'll bring you guys back when uh, when I have finished filling out these papers. It's going to be a while. Well, it won't be that long for you guys, but yeah.
Okay, guys, so I have finally finished all of these things, and it only took about an hour, <laughs> surprisingly, but it's only 50 colors. Um, I mean, they're okay. They're not that bad. I'm a little, um, some of the colors are a little close, like these two here, these two, or maybe those two. They're just really close together and every aspect um these two are pretty close these two are looking pretty close until you get on another paper um the 
blues are okay. Those seem to be like separated out and stuff, but there's just a couple of colors that kind of seem to match to me. And then when you go on to the black, it's pretty much the same as like those two greens, those two oranges, those two there look the same. These two, not so much when you get on the black paper, but that's okay. And they're the same here. I mean, those are the same. Those two look pretty much the same. Those two look the same. And there's a difference on these. But it's pretty interesting to see how they, uh, how they are. I like them better on the white, personally. Um, but I can see how somebody could like them on the black. I did have a bit of an issue trying to sharpen them. So I have some, like, new sharpeners here. I'm going to find one I haven't sharpened yet because, uh, like this one. I think it's because of the way that it's, um, see, I think it's because of the way that it, uh, the shape of the barrel, it makes it really hard to sharpen. Um, and I have to use a lot of force, but once it gets sharpened, like once it's sharpened, I think it's okay. Like, yeah. So like once it's, uh, it kind of gets a little easier. I would think about that though if I was giving them to my kid, I would probably have sharpened them before I gave them to them. Because I mean, that was a lot that's a lot of force. Uh I ended up having to sharpen them in this one, which is the crank sharpener. This is another one I hadn't sharpened. So I just want to see if it Just once you get past that initial initial cuts when you first sharpen them, then they're a bit like, okay, we don't like this. And then they're easy to sharpen and then it's fine. So um, definitely, definitely if you're giving these to kids, sharpen them first because uh, it does take a bit of force. But otherwise, I mean, that's kind of cool the black wood pieces. Where did my um, my shavings cup go? I put them in there. My daughter painted it. It's cute. But I can't use it to drink out of because it's not um, I think it's Posca, so you can't, I can't wash it. <laughs> but anyway, so these are the colors. Um, I mean, they show up pretty nice. They're very vibrant, I will say that. And they do feel really soft, which is also kind of cool because on these red ones here, like, so like this is the yellow. I just want to kind of put a dot next to this somewhere maybe. I mean, they feel the same. So I think these are really the same kind of pencils. They feel the same. But I don't know if it is the same formula exactly, because does this show up as well on the black paper? Yeah, kind of, not really, no. It looks similar to that one, maybe. But there's no numbers on these, so it's hard to know. Um, but on the white, it looks similar to that one. So I don't think they're exactly the same formula, but they are pretty close. And they do feel kind of similar, so, I mean, there's that. But it's a nice little set, and like I said, I'm going to split this into two separate videos because um, it just feels like it would be a bit long. Also, if people just want to watch the coloring, then there's the coloring, or if people want to watch the swatching, then there's the swatching. Um, but yeah, I'm going to put these on, I'm going to scan these into my computer, and I'm going to put them up on my Instagram if anyone's interested in those. Uh, you can find the link in the description below. And uh, I hope you guys have a great day, and I will catch you guys in the next video.